Malka? Yes, Kate. My friend Hans is very sick. He needs taking care of. Oh, otherwise he's going to die, isn't he? Like Mama. I don't know. He wants to get to the end of his journey so badly. Sometimes that is not enough, Kate. Since he was really young, Hans has dreamed of a land called Siberia. Siberia doesn't exist. It's just a story they tell kids to make them sleep. And I'm no kid anymore. I believe the story though, Malka. So, you're going to have to help your friend, Kate. Tell me, do you know anyone who could help heal my friend Hans? Zirkos has special tonics in his bar. No, I need a real doctor. Then you'll have to go to the monastery. I suppose there are monks at the monastery. That's right. Monks with big black robes. They're really creepy. There's nothing to be afraid of. As monks, they must be good men. And you tell me they can treat Hans? The Patriarch is a stern old man. He won't treat your friend if you don't follow the monastery rules. How do you know that, Malka? He wouldn't look after Mama straight away. Because of the rules. That's why she's dead. I'm sorry, Malka. Tell me. How is it going? Howdy, Mr. Sirkos. Good day to you, Miss Walker. How's our friend Hans Svorlberg coming along? Uh, not great news. Ah, well, if I can be of service. Whatever you require, don't hesitate to shout. Tell me, Mr. Sirkos. It was you who took in that little girl Malka into your care, wasn't it? I just couldn't bear to leave a little girl like that. What happened to her mother? Oh, a gypsy woman fleeing God knows what monkey business. <laughs> she got here half dead and crazed with fever. The monks helped her, isn't that right? Uh, you could say that. When they stopped being high and mighty, they took her up to their monastery for treatment. But it was far too late for the poor girl. Them old crows make up their own rules. They'd leave a man to rot rather than get their habits dirty. I don't like him one bit, Miss Walker. What rules are you talking about? It's a phony old custom. To decide whether a dying man is actually dying at all, the patriarch of the monastery looks at the patient's face before deciding yay or nay. But how? I don't understand. They kind of make this print of the face on a piece of cloth, you know, like the Shroud of Jesus in the Bible. Mr. Sirkos, I'm worried about Hans's health. Dang! It's all my fault! Never should have asked him to do me that favor. What do you mean, favor? No major work or anything, just to get my wind-up Broncos back in again. Oh, don't blame yourself. Hans was already ill before he came to see you. You've got nothing to do with it. Mr. Sirkos, you wouldn't know someone who could treat Hans Varlberg, would you? Oh, not many pill pushers around here. Guess there's always the monks. The monks, you say? People around here say the patriarch of the monastery has healing powers. They also say he's a dingling, a bit of a fanatic, if you know what I mean. Well, whatever. I have no choice. Mr. Sirkos, could you please introduce me to the patriarch of the monastery? Hmm... Want my opinion. Best stay right away. Oh, why's that? Have you ever heard a showman and a priest sing a duet together? They think my cabaret is a den of debauchery, and that I'm a funky old miscreant luring lambs from the altar. Really, Mr. Sirkos, we're not in the 19th century anymore. But we're not too far here, Miss Walker. Believe me, best I don't put my finger in that pie. 
Do the monks have a telephone? Uh, they don't even have electricity. You'll have to go up there in person, Miss Walker. Then try to convince them to take care of your friend. How do you get up to the monastery? When you go out of here, turn right. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. It's colder than the North Pole out there, Mr. Sirkos. Do I have to go up to the monastery on foot? There isn't some other form of transportation? Don't even think about it, Miss Walker. Only pony can make it up there is Shank's pony. You're going to have to use your feet, I'm sorry to say. I must confess I don't really understand this shroud story. You'll see, just outside the village, the monks have put this kind of iron box. A box containing a pile of linen sheets. When you put one of these sheets over the face of the sick man, it has the curious property of soaking up all his sweat and juices. So effective it is that all the features of his face can be seen on the cloth. And so the old patriarch looks to this print to form his diagnosis? At least what he can judge is whether that face on the shroud is sick enough to get dragged up those rocks to the monastery and be treated by him. I suppose anybody can take a cloth from the crate if he needs it? You suppose wrong, Miss Walker. One person has charge of the distribution of the said shrouds, and that's Malka. She sure is proud of her position. The Patriarch himself gave her the responsibility, and that kid ain't giving it up for no man, believe me. It's really cold around here. I can't go to the monastery dressed like this. Dead right, Miss Walker. Best to be careful in these temperatures. You wouldn't have something warm to lend me, would you, Mr. Sirkos? Um... <laughs> Not gonna be easy, what with you having mighty different uh, vital statistics and all, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Please excuse me. I'm going to try to find some clothes someplace. I've got to go now. Go quickly, Miss Walker. And good luck. Mighty kind, Mr. Sirkos. Mr. Sirkos? What can I do for you, miss? There's maybe some warm clothes in your music hall wardrobe. A few years ago, I had the pleasure of employing a mighty pretty singer who shared your dimensions, Miss Walker. I I'm afraid the costume she wore that night might not lend much protection from the cold. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm a dope. I've got to go now. Go quickly, Miss Walker. And good luck. Mighty kind, Mr. Sirkos. Tell me, how is it going? He told me why they couldn't treat her at the monastery. Yes, Kate. Sometimes, people get too sick and there's nothing that can be done. Is your friend too sick? I hope he isn't. I'm going to help you, Kate. Can you help me, Malka? Hmm. Only if your friend is a little bit sick. Not too much or you'll be sad. We'll see. Let's give it a try, you know? Like for your mother, with the monks. On the road to the monastery, there's a kind of box with sheets. The monks call them shrouds. I'm going to give you a token so you can get one. It's very important, Kate Walker. Then what do I do with this shroud? Take it and lay it over your friend's face. <sighs> okay, I'll give it a try. Thank you for your help. Come back and see me. I like you, Kate. Tell me. How is it going? Oh. 
Uh, I don't think that I will be very well received. It's been barricaded. These folks don't like people just dropping in uninvited. Really a bit too cold. I'll be needing some warm clothes. Tell me, how is it going? Weird vehicle. It's a little... How's it going? Father, Hans doesn't want to stay in the attic. Hi there, Oscar. Good day to you, Kate Walker. Colonel, please, can you help me? What can I do for you, Miss Walker? I want to go up to the monastery, but it's so cold outside. 
would you have some warm clothes to loan me? Maybe so. I might find what you want up in the attic. I'll get the ladder out. I'll pay you for what I use, of course. Don't you worry, Kachuchka. You're a true ray of sunshine in this dusty old shop. And we don't see sunshine here every day. You'll find something that'll fit you in the attic, I'm sure. There you go, miss. I can't climb up there anymore. Colonel, please, can you help me? What can I do? Would you have something to treat a fever? My friend is sick. I'm sorry. I sold my last pills last week. I was told the Patriarch of the Monastery can diagnose illness if he's shown a cotton sheet marked with the feverish face of the patient. What do you think about that, Colonel? Here in Mother Russia, Katyuchka, there are stranger tales to be told. From what I've heard, Colonel, the Patriarch of the Monastery is some kind of healer. I'm just an old Cossack. And to me, there's only one real remedy for everything. A good shot of vodka. And that'd finish off poor hands for sure. Thanks for all your help, Colonel. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker. Colonel, please. What can... Our route is still long and my friend is suffering. Siberia is hellish cold at this time of year, Miss Walker. And journeys take an age. Your friend isn't in the prime of youth anymore. Thanks for all your help, Colonel. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker. Now, where to find some place appropriate to slip into this? At last, a bit of privacy, for once. Toasty, and not unelegant even. Tell me, how is it going?
Tell me. How is it going? Hi, Mr. Sirkos. What can I do for you, miss? 